Australian government wanted to make sure that the people who own these big tech companies should actually pay the people who create the content that they go on to make an awful lot of money selling ads for. Well, guess what Google has suggested? Google has suggested because of a plan to do so, they could just turn off Google search, Gmail and everything else here in Australia. If this is not screaming to you that these people are bullies, then nothing is. This was actual testimony to an Australian Senate inquiry. If this version of the code were to become law, it would give us no real choice but to stop making Google search available in Australia. Okay. As for the people who are trying to put the code in place, among others, the Treasurer is saying, yeah, good luck, Google. We don't respond to threats. It seems the digital giants keep changing the goalposts. The restriction of freedom of speech by the tech giants. Freedom of speech is so fundamental to Australian values and to the values of all Western democ democracies. But the place where speech happens in 2021 is often online, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the internet. And the tech giants have taken it upon themselves to censor speech, to remove, delete, ban speech they don't like. It just disappears from the internet like it never existed. And we're not talking speech that will incite violence. In many cases, that's fine. They leave that up there, whether it's the Ayatollah of Iran or other violent dictators in North Korea, China, they're fine to go ahead and say their hateful words. They're censoring speech that they don't like, if it's speech they don't agree with, if it's fashionable, if it's not fashionable, if it's conservative, if it's pro-Trump. Now, of course, this gave rise to Parler, a new platform where the unfashionable, far-right conservative voices moved. Parler was on its way to a billion dollar valuation, but virtually overnight was made worthless, rendered worthless, because it was deplatformed by all the tech giants. It was withdrawn from the app store so it couldn't be downloaded, and that was both on Apple and Google app stores. And then Amazon stopped hosting it, so Parler couldn't even have a website. It effectively got removed from the internet. Now, that might not worry you because you know, as a conservative, if, if you're not a far right or conservative person, you know, you might not have tried to access that website, but it should worry you because such is the arrogance of these tech giants that they can now get, get away with deciding which businesses survive in 2021. They can get away with controlling free speech. Parler hadn't broken the law. It hadn't been convicted of a crime, but basically at its heart, because the tech giants didn't agree with its political ideology, it doesn't exist anymore. And it's why Trump has been banned from all the social media accounts, but China, Iran, North Korea, you name it, all still have a platform for their speech. And it gets worse. The arrogance seemingly has no end. Google, as you might've heard over the past two days, on Friday, Google threatened to cut off the whole of Australia from news, from the internet virtually, from its search engine. Google has threatened to absolutely pull its search engine in reaction to plans from the government, very sensible plans for it to come to an agreement with media outlets to pay for the content from which it profits. Both the Prime Minister and the Treasurer have hit back at this threat. Australia makes our rules for things you can do in Australia. That's done in our parliament, it's done by our government, and that's how things work here in Australia. And people who want to work with that in Australia, you're very welcome. But we don't respond to threats. We don't respond to threats. It seems the digital giants keep changing the goalposts. Google, a monopoly player, is used to bullying small businesses that often forces them uh, to, to pay to buy ads on its site to even appear in its search engines. Well, Google has tried to water down the scandal. It